Okay. <laughs> Somebody's waving at me. I think the speaker's on up there, but I don't care anyway. Hi. Uh, I'm Dave Bigley. This is uh, Dead Air. <laughs> uh, deader than it's ever been, really. Uh, we have a pretty good show tonight. We've got uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of people here that uh, that should have a lot of good things to show you. Anyway, there's a couple of announcements I wanted to make first of all. Okay, uh, about the uh, the Full Circle School, which is an alternative high school here in Somerville that burnt down, um, and they're trying to raise money to get. Uh, so they need uh, support from the Somerville community, from anybody who has anything to, any kind of support, whether moral or financial or anything that you have to give to them. Uh, you can call them at uh, 623-0110 and, uh, you know, get in touch with them and they could use your help. Another thing I'd like to talk about is our basketball game, which may yet happen someday. Uh, <laughs> we've been trying and trying to get it together for, uh, for a long time, but uh, from what I hear, we should find out from the athletic directors up at Tufts within... Uh, a few days, I guess, and we'll let you know as soon as that's going to happen. I'm sure you're all just dying to, <laughs> to go to that game. Anyway, uh, and that's going to be taped and it's going to be played back over Channel 3. Uh, another thing I want to tell you about is um, that uh, the, they went out and did some shooting today for the, um, for, uh, the Somerville Media Action Project show that's going to be on next week um, about the uh, Full Circle School, so you can, uh, you know, keep your eye open for that. And there's a lot of other good shows that are just too numerous to mention that are happening here on Channel 3. But uh, uh, the schedule's in the journal every week, and check it out, and we've got a lot of good shows, so yada, yada. Anyway, uh, the first, that opening shot, if you saw that uh, all this paraphernalia on the table over here, uh, there's a guy coming on later on in the show, uh, Henry Gaudet, who... Uh, carved everything on this table himself by hand. Uh, there's an amazing array of stuff over there. But uh, we'll be talking to Henry later on in the show. Uh, first, before we get into Henry, uh, there's a fellow sitting next to me. Uh, you may have heard on on Wickus, on, uh, I guess, BCN has a copy? Yes, too? BCN. And uh, BUR? BUR, yes, as you say, BUR. Uh -huh. ZBC. <laughs> ZBC is Boston College's radio station. And ZBC. MFO in a little while, too, oh, which yeah. is Tufts' radio station. All right. I thought it was the uh, Zambesian Broadcasting Company. <laughs> <laughs> no they rejected it. They didn't was. want it. Okay, and uh, anyway, you've heard a song, or you've at least heard rumors of a song uh, running around that's all about Somerville. Well, here's the guy that wrote it. Uh, he's going to play some other things for us first. His name is Dave Mish, anyway. So, yes. there you are. Thank you. <laughs> Dave Mish. Thanks for that wonderful introduction, Dave. <laughs> Gee, I think I'd, <clears throat> I'd like to play you some songs, which I wrote all by myself, no help. And uh, I'm going to start off with one, I think, which will relate, uh, our viewers will be able to relate to sp specifically. It's a song about frustrated high school lust, entitled... <laughs> Phone calls are already coming in on that one, I think. <laughs> Entitled Happy Harry. Boom 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 After school in the evening, inevitably my phone will begin to ring. It's usually a woman and she's usually nice. She says, Please, Harry, can you give me some advice? I'm happy, Harry. The question and answer man. Ch -ch -ch Every woman in the neighborhood knows a listen and a listen good. So they ask me what they should and shouldn't do. Oh, should I tell them yes or tell them nope? Should I put them down or let them hope? They talk of Jim and Jean and John and Jake and Dick and Doug and Dan and the whole brass section of the marching band, but not Happy Harry, the question and answer man. There's one woman who calls me nearly every night And she doesn't know it, but she is my one true love And my heart's delight, she's got lots of problems and they're always male And she goes into them in great detail She wants a lover, but to no avail so far Ooh, one evening she will call for my advice But when she finishes, to her surprise, I'll say I have it on good authority you got a new problem, and I think it's me, yes. Happy Harry, the question and answer, man. Oh, and I've told that woman how I really feel. I'll never.
never have to fall asleep. Why? Because all my dreams will be really real. I'll fantasize a bit if you'll allow. She'll be with me and I can see it now. We'll be over my house and we'll be all alone and she'll reach down low and disconnect the phone of Happy Harry, the question and answer. Don't be wary of the questions or the answers from Happy Harry, the question and answer man. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Thank you. Thunderous applause. You can't hear the applause because we have the no, audience mics turned it off. Yeah. <laughs> There was lots, but we felt it was injudicious to put it over here. Please, please, you can't make up for it now. Well, we just turned on the audience mics. Try cashing those checks a week from now, man. Not gonna, anything's going to happen. All right. <clears throat> Gee, should I play another? Why not? Okay. This is uh, one I'd like to dedicate uh, especially to those of you kids down by the soda fountain. And also to everyone in the audience, oh, I ought to explain this, since your <laughs> viewers are interested in strange and exotic things like wood carvings and folk singers. <coughs> this is a kazoo. You want to focus on the kazoo here? Focus on kazoos. This is a very rare kazoo. Uh, this is one uh, which is an exact replica of the one in the Smithsonian. It's uh, <laughs> actually priceless uh, kazoo. Uh, you can buy ones which are exact replicas of this copy for a quarter in many Somerville stores, but this one itself is worth countless thousands of Deutschmarks. Uh, I play it like a virtuoso, and I, I have to be honest about that. This is a tenor kazoo. It sounds like and a bass kazoo would sound like but this is just a tenor, so I can't do it with it. I'd like to dedicate this song to everyone in the audience who has had at one time in their lives, or knows someone who has had a mother. Everyone else can just relate as best they can. The song is a very moralistic tome entitled, Don't Ever Lie to Your Mother. One day I met a girl named Claire from the wrong side of the tracks. I knew my ma would disapprove, so we met behind her back. Finally I said, let's elope, and she said, I like you, but you should never fool your mom no matter what. She told me, don't ever lie to your mother. You can always find yourself another bride. Whoa, but don't ever lie to your mother. Be straight with Ma and keep her satisfied. I pointed out we'd been deceiving Mother all the way. After an hour in bed, she saw my point. We eloped that very day. When Ma found out, she heaved a sigh. Pa heaved me out the door. Take that, you bum, he said, and furthermore. Well, he said, don't ever lie to your mother. You can always find yourself another bride. Whoa, but don't ever lie to your mother. Be straight with Ma and keep her set. Oh, play that thing! After two years, we went camping to rekindle our old flame. Back at home, a nagging thought told me I'd left something out there. Too late, I realized that it was Claire. They took me to the courthouse when they found my poor wife dead. The judge looked at my record, then he looked at me and said, On the murder charge, we ain't got proof, but the lying charge is true. So it's ten in the pen, because I got a mother too. And he said, don't ever lie to your mother. You can always find yourself another bride. Oh, but don't ever lie to little old mother. Be straight with Ma and keep her satisfied. with Ma and keep her satisfied. with Ma and keep her satisfied. Personal experience? Uh, no. Not at all. Nothing I write has anything to do with me. Uh, a lot of people mistake that. In fact, no one I know writes songs that have anything to do with their lives. They just, uh, basically what I do, my method for writing songs is to hang around a lot of musicians and when I hear one that has a riff, as we call it, it's a technical term, riff, um, one of them comes up with a riff which is particularly good, that's another technical term, good, you know, <laughs> then I steal it and I get most of my ideas that way. But, oh, this is going to be an entertaining one. <laughs> Ever since the dawn of time, 
and even before. Human beings have speculated about what it is that separates us, if I, if I may be so bold as to include myself, from the uh, animals. Uh, scientists have said that it's something called intelligence. Yeah. Philosophers say it's something called the soul. But I would say it's something a lot more subtle, something I would term conscience, the ability to feel guilt. Only human beings have that ability. You never see a dog lying around Saturday night saying, oh, I shouldn't have hassled that cat last night, man. No. <laughs> Only human beings worry about hassling cats. So that got me, ever, you know, many of our greatest pieces of art and literature and painting and music and art and literature and painting have, have been about this theme of conscience and guilt. Many of our greatest writers, uh, uh, Dostoevsky, Fiorella, LaGuardia, Hamlet, they've all written about conscience and guilt. Well, continuing in their, following in their footsteps and filling them quite admirably, I must say, I've uh, written a song also about conscience and guilt. This is about a more modern manifestation of the particular phenomenon, but it's once again something I think our listeners can fully relate to. It's a song entitled Bibliotheca Agonistes. Those of you who are screwing around your Latin dictionaries, you'll never find it, so give up. I was looking through the attic yesterday. I found an old and tattered book that I'd once hid away. On the cover was inscribed property of your local public library. And the date due was April 3rd of 1953. I sat down uncomprehending My life of love and joy was ending I'd violated the laws of lending But I forsook that library book My family and my friends, I'm sure Would ne'er believe that I'm of ever perpetrating such a crime. Loving husband, a loving father as well, but trapped and tortured in my own private hell. Wondering madly, can I sell or burn my secret shame? The love <laughs> I've tried to forget, but it's not working. I feel that the whole wide world is smirking. It knows behind the man of honor there is lurking a common crook who stole a library book. I know that mere money cannot remove this psychic curse. Anyway, I figured out that I owe $683. But I hereby take a vow to forswear any evil, any time, anywhere. If the librarian would just declare a public amnesty. My life will soon expire And my soul will try to join the blessed choir But they'll cry, no, you must eternally perspire Because you took That fucking library book That library book Oh, that library book Moving. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, what an inspiring song. Or perspiring or something. <laughs> something. I think I'm going to be Girl. expiring. <laughs> you know what's great about having long hair? You wouldn't know about this, no. but um, <laughs> what's great is when you do that thing, you know, you can really get like Leonard Bernstein. <laughs> Young people's concerts, you know, I was bored with the music, but when he got up there and went, <laughs> I wanted to be a conductor. The closest I got was, well, I won't go into that sad story. <laughs> I played the, <laughs> I wanted to play an instrument in an orchestra, but I didn't want to play something that I would have to concentrate on, so I became the bass drummer <laughs> in our high school orchestra. But then I got moved up to snare drums one year, and it was really horrible because, like, during the Star Spangled Banner, you have to roll for three minutes, you know. At the start, I was really sounding, Oh, say, can you see? But by the end, I'm going, And it really sounded poor. It's probably the reason for much of the student unrest in the 60s was people like me who couldn't play the Star Spangled Banner well on drums. It's a theory Tom Hayden hasn't really gotten into yet. But. <laughs> I'm sure he will. <laughs> Back in the 60s, there was a, a many of you, like many of me, may recall a phenomenon of rock music, which was uh, a genre which we would now call macho rock, or if we were in Mexico, perhaps macho rock. And this, this type of music always began the same way, the husky-voiced, sexy male lead singer, which part I'll take. Uh, would uh, lead in close to the microphone and say, I was walking real fine down the street one day when I saw this pretty woman and we got it together. Well, I was young and naive and I believe that kind of crap, you know. I really thought, that's what happens. You walk up to a girl, hey. It was only after accumulating a vast number of psychic and physical bruises that I began to realize that was not the way things went. And I vowed I would write a song instructing people on what would happen to them should they begin their emotional relationships with that method. And from that germ of an idea came the full disease of this song. Because <coughs> who has a cold? I'm sorry. Oh, just a second. Let's see. That chord sounded bad to you. Fix your TVs. You didn't fix them yet. <laughs> I was walking real fine down the street one day when a girl did catch my eye. Prettiest girl in the world. I knew I'd have her, I'd die. I ran right up and I grabbed her hand and I asked her real polite. I said, baby, baby, I need your love. Will you be mine tonight? And she said, no, 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 no. She said, no, 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 no. She walked away, but I followed her because our talk was incomplete. We got on the subway and chased in cabs. We ran right down the street. When she got to her door, I was standing there. She could tell I wasn't soft. Said, listen, little boy, get off of my tail or I'll really get pissed off. But I said, no, 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 no. That's right. I said, no, 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 no. Oh, play it, Eric. Yes, I was, and we got married. That's what we did. Now I work each day from 9 to 5 while she cleans the house and kids. Just last night, I turned off the tube, and I thought, what a great old life. I said, didn't this work out fine, little girl? Aren't you glad that you're my wife? And she said, no, 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 no. Oh, she said, no, 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 no. Yes, she said, no, no, no.
sad song. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I suppose so. Let's see, would, can I just lean this back here? Sure, great. Fall right There's down. nothing in back of this curtain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somerville Municipal Dump is right behind the curtain. <laughs> After the show, they just push us back. Goodbye. Well, this is it, folks. The moment oh, you've all been, waiting, all for. been waiting for. Wake up, Somerville. <laughs> yes, this is the song that is on everybody's lip. Hasn't quite gotten to everybody's, both their lips yet, but... <laughs> The upper lips, I believe, of the nation are really talking over this song. Uh, let's see. How can I? I won't go into a big, long introduction. Uh, uh, well, how much time do we have? <laughs> Plenty of time. Uh, well, very briefly, I was inspired to write this song when I saw a TV news story uh, on uh, the city of Los Angeles holding a contest to write uh, to see who could write the best song about Los Angeles. And the entries were... I, you know, I thought there were going to be all sorts of funky songs, you know, from Hollywood songwriters, you know, John Denver would do something. L.A. makes me think of eagles. <laughs> of course, almost everything does. You know, something really funky like that. That's why I was so shocked when the actual entries came in. It was just, you have never heard such stuff in your life, like, Los Angeles, city of the angels. And City of the Angels, Los Angeles. And Lost City of the Angels, Angeles. Really bad. And I started thinking, if you have a city of three million people, and the only thing you can think to write about is the English translation of its name, <laughs> what would you be reduced to writing about if you had a smaller, slightly less interesting city to, to write about? Well, that got the old creative sap flowing, so to speak. And the creative sap came up with this. Hi. So glad you could make it for our last show here at the Blue Cheese Room in the Tip Top Lounge. You know, people are always talking and singing about the big cities where they live. San Francisco, where those funny cable cars climb halfway to the stars. Chicago, where you can see a man dance with his wife. Whoopee. But you never hear songs about little towns, places that may not be so important to the map makers, but are awfully darned important to the people who live there. I live in a town like that, a place not too far from here, one that you probably all know, but have never really thought much about. That's why I'd like to tell you about it right now. It may not be like New York and Paris, and London and Rome. Yes, they all have their charms, I agree. But the people who call all those places their home miss something, just take it from me. The Louvre and the UN have beauty. They shine with a kind of a sheen. But far from the Ritz in Massachusetts, is a place with the grace of a queen. There is a town around old Boston Bay, a place where time and life stand still. Just follow your nose and heart and soon your feet will find themselves in Somerville. The city center there is filled with streets. A sub shop graces every hill. You might think you're dreaming, and again you might not. Anyway, you're in Somerville. Come watch the buildings stand up proud and tall, while far below the pavement hugs the ground. At 
night. The stoplights change their hue from red to green. Then they change back from green to red. A carnival of color here in Somerville. Too bad that everyone's in bed. A wondrous place where branches hang on every tree. Where people go to work and then go home. So come to where the rain and snow fall from the sky. Where day is light and night is dark and still. Yes, come watch nature on display. It's always free of charge. That's how it is in Somerville. In Somerville. Oh, Somerville. My Somerville. Lester, I appreciate that, really. <laughs> didn't have to applaud. I didn't even vote for you. All right. Well, you said uh, I'm getting a motion from the corner there that your guest has arrived. Oh, Can't that's right. That? Well, this is really uh, uh, this is really incredible. I'm honored to be able to just to be a part of this. Why don't you tell the folks what's what's about to happen? Okay. What about what's about to happen is that. Uh, Davis brought a guest with him. Uh, some. I'll just go get him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll right. just walk right over here. <laughs> you do that. Okay, he's a, a little-known uh, folk hero. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but he's come to, uh, to plug an album, I think, that he's just put out or something. And uh, he'll be uh, coming in to, uh, to invade our program with a little crass commercialism to... Uh, to uh, hype his newest piece of wax, or vinyl, whatever. But anyway, while he's, uh, Jeff, I mean, uh, Dave just went outside to go pick him up. Uh, he's, his limousine just pulled up out front. And uh, so I think it's, he should be here in about a couple of minutes. Anyway, uh, in a couple of minutes after, uh, after Dave Sprank comes in, he's we'll here. have, um, he's here any second now. We're gonna have um, Henry Godet is gonna be on, uh, who's, some of this wood carving that you see next to me, this lamp is just amazing. I don't, <laughs> it's got, uh, I don't know, he told me how many, I'll ask him later, something like uh, 1,200 popsicle sticks or something. It's really incredible. That's a lot of popsicles. But anyway, we'll be talking to him in a little while and uh, showing some of his stuff that he's done here. And I think, um, okay, I think he's ready. Here he is. Little Bo oh, okay, little Bobby Zimmerman. <laughs> Right here on our stage, the first time in Somerville. Hi, it's NBC. <laughs> you are Johnny Carson, what a ripper! <laughs> it's the makeup. I really am. Oh. Well, thank you, Dave. I'm sure it's a great privilege and an honor for all of you to be watching me tonight. <laughs> I'd like to play you a song off my latest album. Blood on the tracks, available for $16.98 at any drugstore. <clears throat> this is a song which hasn't been getting too much radio play, I think because of its political nature. Hope you enjoy it, though. It's called Positively Bunny Street. <laughs> I 
the winner, the lad, Willie Mays, was chasing riddles when she punched me in the eye. So I grabbed my can of Drano and I poured it down the drain. And a jester who was crawling back said, Bob, she looks like rain. eggs inside my yard as it ran away to safety I ran him over in my car and I'm sure inside an egg somewhere inside a golden fleece yes I'm sure inside an egg somewhere it says buddy rest in peace That's about it, huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh. Right. The union. You almost yeah. forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to ask me something about Somerville. What was I supposed to ask you about Somerville? Gee, this is just a guess, but wasn't it something along the lines of, gosh, Dave, aren't you putting that out on a single pretty soon? <laughs> gosh, Dave. <laughs> well, I'm. Oh, you didn't finish asking it, but I am glad you asked that question. Yes, yeah, Somerville is going to be released on the Zipper label. Um, in mid or late March, uh, Zipper Records it was a uh, very re well-respected uh, label in my house. <laughs> and uh, those of you who wish copies, it will be available for a very modest price, an unassuming price, as we say in the business, uh, from Zipper Records in Somerville. That's 4 Nevada Avenue in Somerville. You can get it by mail order, and also many Harvard Square record stores will be beating on people who request it. So either way, go into a store or ask me. Stop me on the street. Ah! Okay. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, now uh, Henry is going to come in and talk to us about some of these things that he's that he's done. Okay? You can co come right over here. Thanks a lot, David. Thank you. You can uh, leave by the back door. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, where do we start? That's... Uh, that's a good t a question. Okay, first of all, uh, what's your name? Henry, what? Henry Gaudet. Okay. That's Hello? my first name, Henry. Everybody calls me Henry. Henry, Henry is good enough for me. Okay, all right, Henry. Henry. <laughs> Hank, is Hank well, all right? I have a goal to call me Henry. <laughs> okay, Henry. Uh, where do you want to start <laughs> talking about some of these things? How long, have you uh, been, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for about 11 years. I, uh, uh, when I retired about 11 years ago, I had to have something to do. So I took up this woodwork. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. And I worked over at, you know, a tough few, University, University? Okay. I worked over there, my last job over there. Got one for doing, you, too. Doing maintenance work. Doing maintenance, maintenance work over at Tufts. Oh, yeah. So I got through over there. So I had to do something. Yeah, it looks like you're but, keeping yourself busy. But uh, I've no good on detail or anything. A friend of mine helped me out with the, with the drawing on a piece of paper. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So yeah, he asked me if I had it. I said, I have a part of it. So I went home and I got a piece of wood, piece of wood and a knife, and I practiced. Yeah, you practiced the all first right. Thing I did was did a you little, the first thing I did was, oh, was a that. little uh, small uh, short chain, piece of chain, I guess. That was one of the first things you did? But I had a hard time doing it. Not this one. Oh, OK. I, but that's, you started out I, doing the chains? I threw that away. I wouldn't show it to anybody. <laughs> yeah, to hold the microphone up here so they can hear you. But the, 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 this okay. one here, I use a button. But you know, it's uh, it's, it's really it's a uh, it's a really quite a uh, it's a quite a hard job, you know. Uh, That's made out of one piece of wood. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right? one piece of wood. Oh, that's all. Just one piece. How do you do it out of one piece of wood? Uh, a friend of mine, a friend of mine gave me that piece of wood. I understand that. It's incredible. A little rough piece of wood. Mm -hmm. so I went home. I had nothing to do. I took a little knife. A little knife and a piece of sandpaper. That's what I got. 
that beautiful wood come from the tropics. Really? What they call Lincoln Vitae. He was a professional carver himself. That's but incredible. some of this wood I pick up around, some of the local wood, you know, some of it is good. This here is the red mahogany. Mm -hmm. that, there, that there is a white wood. When the, when, the, when the wood is real good, I can get a good, nice smooth finish. I just have the natural finish. That's the natural finish? But uh, sometimes I dye it. No, See, that's, uh, you dyed this, that, I yeah. dye had to dye this. I say, I never saw orange wood. And there's a, like uh, that. just. Okay, can we take a look at this lamp? Can you get oh, a, a shot of the lamp? That lamp fascinates me. <laughs> That's incredible. That lamp there, uh, I, I got. Uh, I went to Canada one time on a visit, and I saw I had made several lamps. Some of them, not like not 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 the spiral, not the spiral. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to make that the lamp? How long did it take me? Yeah. Oh, maybe about two weeks. About two weeks, really? Yeah, over a thousand sticks. Over a thousand sticks. Over a thousand sticks. Did you eat all the popsicles? Popsicle sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I then lived on popsicle sticks. <laughs> that means I look like a popsicle. <laughs> okay. But, but uh, I had quite a hard job. Quite a hard job with it. It's a really lot of work. It uh, takes a lot of patience. A lot, I a guess lot, it does. A lot of people I like to, uh, uh, you know, a little bit, but of course, younger people don't have time. Young people have that. They mm -hmm. work, they go to school, they go to college, and uh, they have other things to do. But for me, too much time on my hands. That's my that's my problem. <laughs> I have to get out. If I'm home, I sit down. Really, really, you got to that's a little, moving. That's a little gadget. Yeah. All kinds of out of my crazy head. <laughs> then you get tired, or it'll go the other way. Well, yeah, is, uh, I, 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 I really, I really love wood. You know what I mean? Uh, there's something about wood is so, so, uh, so fascinating. There's really, really something about wood that I, that I like. This is all from one piece. Too, one piece. One piece of wood. That, that, that red mahogany. That, 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 that that's in one piece. That you know, I mean, I do it uh, just, just for, just for fun. Okay. And Can we, I uh, have. Uh, this oh, is what I have a little house of mine. See above. I don't know if you can get a good oh, shot yeah. of the. Oh, you know how to operate that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And I'll show them. Uh, can you get a good shot of that now? <laughs> yeah, see above the door. It says peak. <laughs> That's a pretty <laughs> That's saucy thing. That's incredible. <laughs> so many of these things have moving parts. The nerve he's got sticking his tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. But I, I mean, just these things just fascinate me. What is yeah, yeah, what is well, this all about? The there, the there, well, I just made that for, just for curiosity. I, I didn't want to send it down there. I had another one at home. I put a little board down there, numbers. Yeah. And then it spin around, and sometimes you win and some money. And it'll stop at a number? You win some money? The number, yeah. Yeah. What makes me wonder, where, where does the money come from? <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. Makes me wonder, too, where the money comes from. <laughs> where the just money goes, that's the problem. Where it All goes. and ends, just have something to do. Right. And I was down now. Uh, this, this here, this one, a little. That's a little piece of wood. I picked that little piece of uh, wood up on, on, on the sidewalk for the, for, with the rubbish. Took it home. I thought I had a winter's job. I did in about two weeks. You did this in two weeks? About two weeks. That's amazing. Well, I can't say still. I get going on a piece of work. I have to, you know, I mean, as uh, wow. so long as it's there. Another one there. Yeah, there's one there. That's, that's not a piece of wood. That's not a piece of wood. Mm. Do you ever I sell wouldn't. any of your things? Well, no. That's not you know, no, no, not too much of a sale for this stuff. Uh, the people, the people living, uh, living on money for, for uh, you know what I mean. Uh, in other words, uh, I spend a whole week. I spend a whole week uh, or two weeks on a piece of work. Mm -hmm. What if I get ten or fifteen dollars? I'm lucky. Yeah, right. Five, six cents a dollar. <laughs> That's pretty small pay for you, man. <laughs> but I don't mind. I give it away. I give, I give a lot of it away. I have relatives. And I have five boys. And my sisters and brothers, they all have a good supply. Yeah. <laughs> I have I a little... It says, I don't know if you can read what's on the box uh, here. But uh, it says donate right there. <laughs> it says, please donate. But I have a little <laughs> church home. So we'll... Uh, and you know what I do? Leave that thing. I place that little man right in front of the church. You put so him in front of the church? Everybody that goes in, they see that they, have, they donate. <laughs> Incredible. You're really amazing. Yeah, that's, uh, 
this and uh, that's not what is this piece. little I, uh, I picked up a little piece of wood last week I had something to do just something to do that's, <laughs> that's, that's something amazing to do. I make it up and give it away yeah there's a little uh, lobster for catching lobsters yep. I used to catch them when I was a young man you used to use the oh, lobster yeah, fish lobster, yeah. yeah I used to make them where'd you where'd you fish up where'd in you Gloucester fish yeah up, up Gloucester yeah yeah, yeah. That's pretty amazing. You made this? Uh, this you yeah. did all by yourself, right? Eh? Where's the opening there? There it is. All right. So you put the bait in here, you see. Maybe you understand about lobster. Yeah, I did yeah, it this you, summer. You used them, yeah, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I love to get Never that, one this small. And they can't get out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a in lobster a that's small enough to fit in that trap. That's incredible. Okay. Yeah, I do what I know mostly just just to have something to do. If I had nothing to do, I think I'd, I don't know, uh, uh, I, I wouldn't be happy. I guess I not. Be happy. No. Really? There's uh, the little that little board, that little board on it. Uh huh. It's all uh, that the the hull is uh, is metal. Yeah, you the did that. Wood. You did the the hull, the metal, and everything too. You, you worked on the metal too. Uh, no, 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 no. I know. I did. Uh, I did uh, construction work, uh, but all, all I've ever done construction work. You know, be, be, you know, carpenter work. Uh -huh, That's yeah. about all I've ever done. That helped me out on on my hobby. I guess. That gave me an idea how to, you know, uh, just a rough idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, you know, after all, there's no limits what you can do. There's no limits what you can do. That's, <laughs> that's you obvious. You sit down doing a piece of work. You get thinking about something else. Mm -hmm. Some other crazy, some other crazy piece of makeup. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, this is really amazing. Does he have a name? The Crazy Monkey. The Crazy Monkey? That's his name. <laughs> I call him a crazy monkey. <laughs> he resembles a few people. Oh, I, I did, well, you have to do something. I get tired doing the same thing all the time. Really? Do you have, uh, what do you do? Just keep all these things all around your house? I mean, you, you keep all these things around your house? I have about 50 some odd uh, pieces. Oh, in a, uh, Barry was up there in the room. I have about 50, 50 some odd pieces in the, uh, in the room. Yeah, you just keep them. And around every once in a while, dish them out. Every once in a while. Yeah? You know, I get them out. Yeah, I don't know. You, you, do get, well. uh, you get tired doing the same thing. There's, there's another piece of work. I spent probably about a week on that piece of work, a little piece of work. That's all one piece too. One piece oh. wood. How'd you get the things inside? There's something I like. I like something that uh, that really uh, takes a long time to do. That must have taken a long time to do. That, that little piece of wood I spent about a week on that. Really, when it goes to now, it's not a, here's a twenty little rings in a group. One little piece of wood. That's one piece of wood. One piece of wood. I, that's what I like to do. That. I don't know. I you, find uh, just something I have given so many, so, so, so a lot of it away. Really? A lot of it. You I, brought your you brought your knives with you tonight. Were you planning on? Uh, oh, here's part of my knives. Well, it, it doesn't it doesn't require too many tools. Now for carving, for carving, uh, you that uh, that answers the purpose for carving. Mm -hmm. Now I have uh, I have a piece of wood here. I try to to carve. My son lives in California. Mm -hmm. I was going to carve a plate, same as this one here. I carved this one, I had pretty good luck on this one. Okay. But you, you see, you have to be in the mood all this stuff. You have to be in the mood. Are you in the mood? You have to be in the mood. <laughs> if you're not in the mood, forget about it. But still, it's not there. It's quite simple, you see. You just follow, just follow along. Yeah, course, you, have, you? You, have to, you have to tip your knife, you see. You have to tip your knife, and you cut this letter. Tip the knife in this fashion. Tip the knife in this fashion. And then when you reverse that, you actu actually cut the wood right out, you see. Mm. Did, did That's you? It's quite simple, but uh, you have to be pretty careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's really amazing. Careful. Did you yeah. pretty much teach yourself all of this? Uh, did you pretty much teach yourself all of this? Oh, yeah. Nobody, no, nobody ever showed me. <laughs> I, I heard it myself. That's amazing. I heard it myself. How do you? No, nobody, nobody. Uh, because you don't see, you don't see any woodworker. You know, you don't see any of it around. You don't see any of it. Uh, you you no, don't see anything like this. That's the truth. No, there's nothing around. They That's don't really have the, they don't have the patience. But at the time. What is, yeah, this, what is uh, this guy? Another. That's another. 
That's one of my little seagulls. I try to make, I try to make seagulls a while ago. <laughs> They're little seagulls. That's amazing. I got a lot of wood home. Well, you just pick up little pieces of scraps oh, here let, and there? Let her open us. <laughs> you're amazing. I mean, you got to just think you're I've learned home. Oh. That's all I have to do, just wood, wood, wood. I told wife, my wife, well, I only have to call the exterminator. She said, why? There's termites around it. Termite. Well, I said, I'm the termite. <laughs> oh, the biggest termite of them all. <laughs> just <laughs> chewing I away. No house, no house left after a while. <laughs> Can you make a yo-yo go? Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. I, I saw, I saw you make, Nixon, you Nixon one time on TV making you trying to make a yo-yo go. <laughs> you need a lot of practice. I can't get it I, on I my don't finger. Have time to practice. <laughs> I can don't have. Can you make it go? Oh, I can make it go a little bit, not too much. I can't get it on my finger. <laughs> Some of the kids can spin them, you know, make more like. Yeah, I can make it go. Take my word for it, I can oh, make that, it go. That's not, that not the type that sleeps. It doesn't that sleep. That one doesn't sleep. Oh, all right. A wide awake yo yo. Ah. That's okay, you won't hurt him. You won't hurt him. Did you ever make one that sleeps? Pardon? Did you ever make one that sleeps? No, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it takes practice, you know. Yeah, oh, like, nice. like everything. <laughs> like everything else. I don't well, have if to, I had it around my finger, I it would work a little better. I don't have to practice on a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any other little goodies you've got? Yeah, you know, I just stop. <laughs> Don't laugh about my teeth now. You know, I, I get, get my, my teeth looked after. Mm -hmm. And I went home one day, one day it was early afternoon. I went on the back porch and I found, found some wood. I had nothing to do. And that's what I got. <laughs> you just got one set, though. Where's I the lower? I didn't finish them that afternoon. <laughs> that last I spent about two, three days doing that. Really? You can do anything with wood. I guess you can. But you have to be in the mood. If you are not of, in the mood, it's just it, impossible. It might be they would, did you try them on? Do they fit? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I could make it fit. I want to. By no. taking out a little bit more wood. You know, if I didn't want to, I would make it fit. Mm -hmm. But I never tried. Outrageous. Were you, uh, you going to carve anything here tonight? Had, were you going to do a little carving here? Were you going to show well, us? Well, uh, I don't think so. It's hard, you know, in, in order to carve. Now, in order to have, you have to get now the, 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 the piece of wood there to get about uh, six uh, links. Out of six links out of that? But you have to prepare that before you get the, before you actually start the, the carving. In other words, that looking down on the, on, the, uh, on the end of the wood. You take out the four corners, mm -hmm. the four corners. And then see what you have, like a cross here. In other words, that's your link. See? Okay, See? there's one link. This link, this way, the other one crosswise. So you make this link here, and then this one from the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Take a lot of time. So you get how many out of there? You get about six out of that? But it's, it's hard, it's hard uh, really hard to, 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 to be hard to teach. And you actually have to do the work yourself. Right. You know what I mean? You know what I'm driving at? Mm -hmm. Some of it, not all of it, but a lot of it. You actually have to do, do to work yourself. You find out, you know what I mean. Otherwise, and uh, what a lot of uh, a lot of the young people want me to teach them how to do it. I wouldn't teach them. The what? The sheet. The sheet. It takes a sharp knife. What sheet? What are you talking about? And one slip of the knife. Ducks. Oh, now I eat ducks. Oh, I eat ducks. They're like hungry. Ducks. Feed them. They eat too. <laughs> <laughs> My little duck. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's amazing. I couldn't figure out what you were talking about. Pick up the sheep. I used to know a lot of funny stuff on my own. Really? That's amazing. So many of these things move. They got all these moving parts in them, and they're just I wood know, stuck it's together. Fun. It's incredible. This thing. That's my little log cabin with a little round. I, I make, I, 
I make those little round sticks myself. You make the little round ones yourself? I make several of those. Uh, different, different design, you see, different design. Some of them. And I made a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Two story house dolls. This thing? Uh, for, this uh, is. Uh, uh, houses, I should say. No, uh, houses, I should say. This That's is one of these things, sir. Uh, <laughs> whatever it is. There's a little ball inside there that's. Uh, Sticks. It's separate, yeah. Thing. But it's separate it's from the other piece, and it's all one piece of wood, though. It's incredible. Yeah, You're amazing, Henry. Yeah? Oh, what little? Oh, this thing. Yeah. I'll break something yet, Henry. <laughs> I swear I to God, I'm going to break something uh, yet. I've made several of those, but they're, they're the smaller. Some of them, not, uh, they're not, uh, I have uh, one. I give it my uh, one of my boys. There's only about four holes, but that one's the longest one. Anyway, there's about. Uh, Did you tw make any longer than this? Uh, Twelve holes. You could make it. I mean, have one. you made bigger ones than this? Oh, yeah. uh, well, I don't know. That's the big, the, the big one I've made, made so far. Yeah. So far. Twelve holes, and of all these holes. It's amazing. A long time. Mostly wood knife, and a little tiny, tiny, tiny saw. And this fireplace and here. And a little uh, fireplace. If you can get a shot of that. Where is it? <laughs> Even got a bottle on a shelf. What? What I uh, did it's a little the little brown jug. It's empty. <laughs> <laughs> you made sure of that, eh? Yeah, <laughs> just do it just just for the just have something to do. Yeah, really. Yeah, what other yeah. kind of goodies we got here? Well there's your own uh, there's your plaque of your of your name. Yeah. The things in the front, in the way? No, nope, it's not gonna fit. There we go. <laughs> I found there the black thread. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? The hand. Yeah. There's, there's so many different things. How can you? How can you? Uh... Ah, well, let's put this somewhere now. Uh, get a nice shot for. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm going to work around here. Just a bunch of easy shots. I'm not good. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. Do you, uh, well, okay, what else? Uh, do we have any other goodies here? These I take uh, I take in a hobby show in Boston every every year at the city hall over there. Yeah? Yeah, just, just for the senior citizen, that's all. Just for, that's a, uh. How old are you, Henry? Mate, 82 years young. <laughs> Excuse me for saying the wrong word. <laughs> right away, too. Right Benny, away. Benny and I used to be the same age. Really? But I know what happened. He died a short time ago. And I gained, I, I gained, I don't know, a couple of years on him. When he died, he was 80, and I was 82. Yeah, some. Yeah. How'd that happen? No, somebody's lying <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> somebody's yeah, born in 92. Born in 92. I feel, uh, like 100, sometimes like, uh, sometimes like, like 50. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone else, I guess. The kind of, the don't expect to feel good all the time. What? What's, what's yeah, people Yeah, we got pants and eggs. Oh, okay. Ah, that's that's incredible. Where'd you get all the popsicle sticks? I thought. Where'd you get the popsicle sticks? Well, I buy them over on Mystic Avenue. That's oh, you do. Big, you don't I buy ice cream, it. whole ice cream. Big cream loose I buy for the thousand, down half a thousand. Uh huh. That's amazing. And the wood I go around at the different oh, yeah, mills, you know, uh, the lumber mills, and I raid the boxes. They 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 lost a, a lot of it. Just goes to waste. Right. They cut the off smaller, the end of the a log or the end of a board. The small piece they had used. Really? You certainly don't have to pay much for materials. But you don't. You don't have to pay much for materials. No, 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 no. A lot no, of it is. No, no, no. Uh, no, I get uh, that's coming very. No. This is about all what I want for nothing. Uh -huh. It's only uh, what they call waste anyway. Those are all small pieces, you see. Oh, it's a bag. This is 1971. Was, you made this. I took the down the Santa a while ago, and I, of course, I know everybody down there. I took, uh, took it around, passed it around to my friends. I said, uh, 
pack of nickels and dimes and quarters. Where? Where was that? So I was just joking down the center, down the Union Square. We had a center down there. But it's seen a citizen. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have another one on College Avenue at the library. We have another one on Cross Street. Mm-hmm. For the senior citizen. What kind of things go on there? Well, we go over there, they do, they, they have uh, hobbies and they, they play beano you know, and they sit down, have a team of cars and they drink coffee, you know what I mean? Yeah, just kind of so get I, together and have so a good I time. So I took the, pass the bank around. <laughs> I thought they were trying out. <laughs> How much did you get? Uh, after a while, I got the, uh, I passed it around. You know what this lady? I got the lady, she dropped the button in there. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get I got to get out of there. I dropped the button in there, but... Can't get in by you. I didn't expect to drop any money. I wouldn't expect anybody to be that stupid. Yeah, a lot OK. Uh, well, yeah? Well. All right. OK. It's that time again, yes, Henry. Right. Yes, I'm not in that. I, it's not too much of a... Anything else you want to I show anybody? I still have quite a lot we... home. I have a pair of shoes home, wooden shoes. You made? Uh, I showed them Mary. Wood, uh, the shoes, wood shoes. Yeah? I put them on, walk around with them. You made yes. them yourself? They f you made them yourself and they oh, fit yeah, good? Oh, yeah, yeah. A couple of blocks of wood. Good night, Dave. Good night, Dave. Good night, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 15 seconds. Well, I want to say thank you to Henry. We're, this is about it, Henry. Well, listen. It's the end of the night. Listen, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. <laughs> this is amazing, the things you brought. Thank you.